Hey everyone, Ryan Young, Kama Jiu Jitsu. I hope you're doing well. So one of the best things about Jiu Jitsu, and I've mentioned this before, and I know many of you have mentioned it in your comments as well, and it's very common knowledge for those of us who do Jiu Jitsu. It's the friendships that you make, and you make them fast. And my best friends are all Jiu Jitsu guys. And you know, I've been training soon to be my 30th year starting January, right? 1989 was when I started. So 2019, that would be 30 years of training Jiu Jitsu. And the guys I started Jiu Jitsu with, I'm still in contact with them, right? And I still text message them, I call them. When I'm in town, I let them know, what, you know, wherever I am, I let them know where I'm gonna be. And I come in and visit. Uh, my old instructor, Brad Jackson, he's gonna be coming to town the last week of this month. He messaged me to let me know he's gonna be coming to town. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to get, get in touch with him, uh, get together with him because I may be heading out of town myself visiting somebody else that I know from Jiu Jitsu. But <clears throat> I had a visitor a little while ago who came in and he was here on business and saw our dropping in video and decided to drop in. Sat down right over there. And I noticed that he's not one of my students, so I went over to talk to him and he just kind of said, hey, you know, I'm here on business and uh, uh, just came to check your school out. And I said, where's your gi? He said, oh, I can train. I said, totally, go get it. So he went and got it, grabbed it and got suited up. And we had a great time training here, went over some pretty cool stuff. Uh, stuff that we do all the time, but he that stuff that he's not seen the way we do it before. He's a purple belt, so he's been around. Uh, probably training about, I don't know, eight years or so. So it was good uh, to share what we do and how we do something that he does, just a little bit different. And you would never know that he was experienced in the way he conducted himself because he just absorbed everything. Anyway, um, I get a message from him. He needs to know my mailing address. Okay, and here's what he sent. Oh. Box, right? And uh, it is from Hawaii, right? Can't get this priority mail box from anywhere but Hawaii, right? So cool. So let's see what's in it. Have my old trusty unboxing knife and so let's kind of see what we got here and tape it good. Now here it is. What's in it? Holy crap. This box is full. Now the most important thing, you know how um, Master Dave and I went to Guantanamo Bay and we went to teach our, our, our soldiers that were stationed over there, our soldiers and sailors, you know, it is a naval base, but they were also army guys and Marines as well. And, you know, we hold our veterans and our active duty, as well as our law enforcement in the highest regard. Why? Because if not for them, we wouldn't be able to get to mess around every day and, and, and do this like, like we do, right? Um, so anyway, this particular gentleman, huh, check it out. Maui Police Department. So, for those of you who don't know, State of Hawaii flag, which is a combination flag of the Union Jack, which is the flag of Great Britain, and the American flag. So, in case you didn't know, um, Hawaii was discovered by Captain Cook, who was a British explorer. Um, although, us Hawaiians were there before they were, but anyway. So, Maui County Police, as well as uh, Maui County so I guess these are the patches that they wear. SRT, I guess if you guys could tell me what SRT stands for. Would that be SWAT? I don't know. Um, anyway, so we got patches. So this is gonna go in our, in our case where we get all our law enforcement patches that um, our students actually gave me for Christmas. You know, as a, as a frame uh, with, with all their law enforcement patches in it. Um, as soon as it gets done, we'll, we'll go and show that. But here's the thing about people from Hawaii. In Hawaii, um, when you show gratitude, um, the, the idea is to do something better than what you were given. Um, whereas, I think the typical American thing is to to give you know an equivalent of what you did. So, you know, this gentleman graced us with his presence, and he was he was great here. All the other students, they loved him. He 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 learned just like every other student. And this is what he does. He goes and puts together a care package. Uh, from Hawaii because I don't get back to Hawaii very often. Uh, I think the last time I was there was probably about two years ago. And 
for, for Hawaii people that are abroad, people that are still in the islands, uh, they, they do a great thing by getting together a care package and sending it out with all some, with, with all some goodies that you can get. So, um, smoked squid. Don't know if you guys ever eat this, but this is good stuff. Um, basically what a squid calamari right so everybody eats it don't go you i know you eat it um <laughs> what is this ahi jerky so ahi is tuna so for you sushi people that's that the, the red one also called maguro and this stuff is expensive um geez thank you so much so um what do we got here maui coffee I didn't know Maui had coffee. Um, T-shirt. Hey, I'm always good for T-shirts. Next level. Okay, awesome. Here we go. What is this? Jiu-Jitsu. Oh, right on. Jiu-Jitsu T-shirt. Right. Yeah. Here. Got it. But it's yep. so yeah, it's uh, it's a, it's black print on a black shirt, which is cool. Uh, uh, Li Hing, as we say it, it's not Arari, Arare. That's the Japanese in me, I guess. Um, this is the stuff. You know, funny story about these things. These are soy sauce covered um, rice crackers, and it has a distinctive smell to it. And I remember flying on a plane home one day, it was on Hawaiian Airlines, and um, I think my wife and I were sitting in the plane, and I, w I had a bag of these, and I was, I was eating it in the, in the airplane. And I guess you can kind of smell it once it gets open and stuff. You know, it, you know, everybody from Hawaii, we all love this stuff, so it does, there's no, we don't notice a smell. But a woman that was in front of me, she, she flagged the flight attendant and said, what is that smell? And the flight attendant goes, oh, that's kakimochi. Um, yeah, somebody in the plane is eating kakimochi. And I'm like, oops. So I kind of just reached over, I offered her some, you know, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm the guilty party, would you like some? And she's like, no, you know, it's like, well, well, you're lost. So, um, so I got to eat the whole bag without anybody taking it. Coconut candy. Now this is new. I haven't tried this before, but I'm not a big candy guy, but I'm gonna try it anyway. And I know my kids will love it. Uh, more Maui coffee, but this time it's actual coffee beans. Oh, there's more coffee. Hawaii coffee. In case you guys don't know, Hawaii has perfect weather for growing coffee. And that's where you get the famous Kona coffee. Now, just a little hint, when you buy Kona coffee, make sure it doesn't say Kona coffee blend because I think they only have to put 10% Kona coffee in there and the rest is just regular Arabica coffee that can be from wherever. You know when it's really good Kona coffee by how much it costs. I think it's about $40 a pound or something. Costco would usually have it at a pretty good price um, if they do have it, but just make sure it's Kona coffee and not Kona coffee blend. Just a little odd fact. Wasabi peas. So peas, right, dried peas, kind of crunchy. Um, so wasabi, for those of you who don't know, who don't eat sushi, it's the spicy stuff that you dip your sushi into. Um, or the stuff that makes you kind of go when you eat it because it's so hot and it just clears your sinuses out. Basically, it's just horseradish, um, but it's a particularly spicy version of it. And Hawaiian honey, honey furikake puffs. Okay, so I think it's a version of these, but just bigger. But this is so awesome and you know, and, and I'm, I'm so thankful to this gentleman for doing this for me because I haven't had this stuff in a long time. And uh, I'm gonna revisit my Hawaiian roots all over again, thanks to this gentleman. But like I said, um, I, by the way, I'm not showing you this so that you all can send me stuff, but anyway. <laughs> I just wanted to show you um, the, the, the relationships that we have in jiu-jitsu, and I'm not the only one, I'm sure you all have it as well, and how this activity that we do, this activity that I love so much, is what creates a lot of fulfillment in my life. And there's not a day that goes by that I don't meet with, talk to, teach, or train with somebody who's involved with me um, through jiu-jitsu, right? And and I hope that for you who don't do jujitsu, 
um, I hope that you try it because, you know, some of the things that you do, it's not the activity, it's the people that you meet through the activity. Now, I'm not saying, you know, you know, like, um, you know, one thing when I was in, in college and when I was in sales for a while, you know, they'd have you go and join these groups because they're all about networking, right? A lot of people who are, you know, looking to build their careers, you know, um, you want to network with people to, to try to, you know, um, be able to refer business back to each other. One thing I'll tell you is that it never worked for me only because I'm not just gonna refer business to somebody because they're in a certain group that I'm in. You know, I have to know them. And there's no better way to know somebody than to have them try to choke you out. And you try to choke them back. And after you're done, you tap and you say, you know, it's a, it's a thing about jujitsu, about, about basically having somebody's life in your hands up to a certain point and then them having the trust in you to let go when you tap, and same thing for me. And then you go and do it all over again, right? It's the oddest thing. I cannot, I still cannot tell people how or why I love this, but I do. And this is just one aspect of it. And I just wanna kinda let you know how grateful I am. And I hope that the year 2019 is a safe one and it's productive. And I hope that everything that you wanna get done in life that you want to get done, you get it done in 2019. Or if not, at least make the decision to get it started. So that's all I got for you. Anyway, happy training. I know a lot of you going on vacation. If you're on vacation, take a gi with you and try to drop in somewhere. Go ahead and train, make some new friends. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Take care, bye-bye.